Okay, there we are. Once again, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld show, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. Hasbro Kites, New Jersey, Route 17 South. I'm headed to meet with William H. Morrow III, commercial voiceover specialist and former NFL football quarterback. For more wackiness or God knows what we're going to talk about. Maybe more madness. Who, who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? We safe in my apartment. I was that legal letter Jackie had taped to their door incredibly effective. There you go. Well, Jackie's been doing this for so many years. She knows what she's doing. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know? Um. Oh. It's not. I guess. It, I guess it could be a question tied to it. Well, tell me, and I'll tell. All right. All right. Let me tell you, let me tell you. you. Remember I tell you about the Wilkinson sword razor blades I was getting from the dollar zone that the Indian zone? Well, guess what? I found out why they're a dollar. They're defective. Once, only one side is sharp, the other side is like a butter knife. So they screw, so is, are they defective, the Wilkinson sword blades? The Wilkinson sword blades that Jimmy Madonna bought from the dollar store thinking he was getting a bargain. Were they, are they defective? I guess that means yes. It is a yes. It yeah. Is a yes. I was wondering See, why. I, I keep telling you, watch what you get. I was wondering why one side was like sharp as but hell and the other side. So, you're so sold with this dollar store shit. I should watch But, but they're stuff. sneaky. There's always a catch, Billy, Morrow. There's certain things you should buy, certain things you don't go yeah. near over there. You yeah. just don't. Now, I have a sharpening stone. Maybe I could uh, sharpen. Why should you have to bother with that shit? Come on, Jimmy, wake up. Well, a few swipes, you know. Go buy a nice blade. Well, you know, on YouTube, they show you how to sharpen regular disposable blades on a piece of denim yeah. jeans. You just go like this um, in one direction on a pair of je denim oh, jeans. Oh, that won't work either. Come on, that's gonna be that's a farce too. That's You're right. I think I tried it and it didn't work. <laughs> sharpening a razor blade on jeans or denim really work. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, I can't, I've got to get through to you. I tell you this shit. Don't, don't bother. Don't bother this crap. I think, a, I think a lot of people you buy into it, and I'm like, no, yeah. don't buy into it. It's just, it's nothing. I mean, for for a dollar store, no wonder they grunt at me when I ask them questions. They like, look, they give me. I was in the oh, Indian. Like they're going to know about every fucking thing. Jimmy. No. I think, I think what they do is they have a buyer. That goes out and they and tells them this is what we have. We have cases. And they don't tell them about the quality. We have this many. We'll sell you for this. Many. That's all they do. They don't tell them about the quality. They don't care about quality. Really. They just want merchandise to sell. The best thing you can buy is maybe glassware. You know, some glasses yeah. and cups, mugs, right? Uh, or 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 heft, you know garbage bags for the kitchen. Uh, no, napkins. not even those. They're going to be weaker than most. Go to a grocery store and get a good the bad brand. I've always got to stop at shops on like, all these years. There's never been one with a tear, strong as can. And when you pull it up, your fingers don't go right go right through it. Well, you're not supposed to do it that way. That's why you have the the, the, the drawstrings. Oh. Yeah, you it, don't grab the bag. Providing the drawstrings don't snap on you, right? Never, never. Yeah, you gotta learn how to be a good a consumer, a buyer. Not look for bargains all the time. You pay a few pennies or a dollar or more and you get more. I'm, that old guy Joe drives all the way down here to go to Costco. I said, your car carries 12 gallons of gas. You're saving, say, five cents a gallon. That's 60 fucking cents. There's no Costco near him? No. I said, you'll come all the way down here to save 60 cents. Everybody laughs at you, Joe. You're anal. You're looking to save a buck. I said, God, wake up. You're almost 90 years old. You've got to stop this. I, I, I know a guy that lives in West Milford, New Passaic County. He went to a gas station and paid a fortune for new tires instead of coming down by my brother-in-law's place in Garfield. He says, he says, oh, it's too far. I says, yeah, but look at what you paid for the tires. 
out, completely blew away the gasoline that it would have took them to come to Garfield. You can't get through to people. You try, and then like we were talking this morning. Yeah. And this they is, said after a while you just give up. I said, yeah, you do. And, like, and, and this is a guy that prides himself on being logical and intelligent. Yeah, that's I, his own opinion. Yeah. I mean, sure, you went down the street to a gas station, but well, they... I don't care. Give me enough of him. I don't yeah. care. I let him do what he wants with his fucking tires. It's enough about him. But, yeah. You know, so... So it looks like Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook is siding with the Trump administration. They're now calling any opposition or criticism of Trump to be fake Russian profiles. Now, before it was fake news, now it's the Russians. Uh -huh. Trump always cries and lies about fake news. Is CNN the greatest news network there is, as unbiased as it can possibly be? Yeah. That that uh, reliable source is that that guy's good too. The Stetler. I forgot what I was going to ask. You keep talking every time. What is that? Yeah, yeah, but I initial I saw the swing. Yeah, I know. But don't don't dissect it. Let me go to the next one. I forgot what I was going to ask. Yeah. 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 About Trump's fake news. Trump's always crying fake news. I always claim about we have a fake president. Am I wrong? Mike Bloomberg says he knows Trump very well, and he says he's a. Everybody calls him a con, a con artist in the business world. What did I tell you? Thirty plus years ago, the gentleman I knew from Goldman Sachs said, "Watch out for this guy. Trump is a fake." Yeah. Now here's Donald Trump, a huge fake. Okay. Is he a front man for a consortium? I think I told you. There you go. I wonder if he plays dumb and he's really a con man. He's a front man. He's a fake. I just said he's a fake. Of course yeah. he's a con man. He's a fake. Yeah. Charlatan, whatever you want to call it. He's a fake. That's it. What else you want to know? Well, if I want to know anything, it might, it might be an additional few words. Well, Let me think. Is um, is the fact that now they're they're blaming criticism on the Russians? Is that just another way of saying fake news? Or I no? I, I, I don't, that make okay. Sense. Is it is it another Trump distraction, accusing criticism on Russia, Russian? No, I'm gonna reword it. Yeah, reword it. Trump, yeah, that just doesn't make sense. I, Trump, Trump will not say anything against Russia, as you well know. Am I right? Is it because Russia, primarily Putin, has something very big on Trump that they're holding over in his head? See how you go at it, Jimmy? Huh? Right to the question. Okay, blackmail. There you go. Maybe even the maybe even the, maybe Putin has something on Hillary and the Republican Party too. You maybe, never know. Maybe he doesn't. The main thing we're talking about is Trump here. Right. Does Putin have anything on Hillary Clinton? Because he seemed to hate her an awful lot. Does Putin have anything on Hillary Clinton? No. Hillary Clinton had a lot of baggage with her as well, as you know. But she was so much more professional and would have been a much greater president than Trump, wouldn't she? There you go. Yes, sometimes you have to go with the lesser of the two evils. Point. That's why I voted for her, not for him. Yeah, and and then obviously people just don't think. Obviously, the the Clinton elitists and the oligarchs screwed over Bernie Sanders. I mean, that was I don't a, know if they did. That I, was a no, given. I don't know about that. Yeah. As Jimmy Madonna just said, the Clinton so-called Clinton elitists did they screw over Bernie Sanders? Yeah, that 
going to go fast, big no. So we lost fair and square, basically, is what the ambulance said. See, Bernie Sanders just simply lose fair and square. So he's going to stop passing the, the buck and the blame. Yeah, well, the only difference is Bernie's donations came from regular people. Well, oh, Hillary's what, came what? from big corporate fat cats. What's wrong with that? Because they're evil. Who says? Uh, look at what CEOs do. Look, what, and what would you do without them? What do you want? Who do you want in there? Uh, honest CEOs. How many people do these pe CEOs employ? They said a greedy CEO. Mill millions of people without the CEOs in these corporations. You have a look at look at that scumbag Jeff Bezos of Amazon. What about him? You know what kind of working conditions he has for? You know how many employees came came forward? No, but I know everybody here that works for Amazon loves it. Really? Yeah. Jeff Bezos. The CEO of Amazon. <clears throat> what do you want to call him? Well, I call, I call him a lot of things, but yeah, he's no, the yeah, CEO yeah, of Amazon. Yeah, no, what do you want to call him, though? A, a bad guy? What do you want to call um, him? Is he a slave driver? Is Jeff Bezos, the founder and CEO of Amazon. Is he a slave driver? I've heard he wasn't. I don't know where you got get your information Because from. people are being interviewed on video, I'm, and I'm watching uh -huh. them. And how about the lawsuits against doctors and this ruining the reputation? Because one client has a bad experience, but 99 others have a great experience. You know, that's what it comes down to. Yeah. You hear one guy's complaint, yeah. but how about the thousands that rain? Right. It's like restaurant critics. Yeah, I mean, or movie critics. Or movie critics. Don't go by that. Remember Sis go, Siskel and Ebert, you thumbs go, up, thumbs down? You go to the movie. You determine for yourself. Yeah. Don't listen to a critic. What is a critic? One person's opinion. Yeah. Or are the, they better than you? Or the critic might no, get paid. Are they better than you? No, they're just a there person That's all. with flaws. That's, are they human? So, yeah, so is the Pope, so are, are priests. Is so. every human fallible? Yes. So couldn't they be wrong? Yes. There you go, that is an argument. You see the point? I tell people that. I tell psychologists that I admit that. I said, so you could be wrong. I said, if you're so great, you people in your field, why yeah. do you have the highest suicide rate there oh, is among geez. the professions? So what's your point here? And then they get really then, upset. And then you got like... Um, said, you people make these statements, <clears throat> but you don't back them up and right. Then, and then you got the bias cases where somebody's paid off. Let's say a restaurant pays off a critic. Oh, I know that. My friends have gone through that with their place. Mm. That's obvious. That's obvious. Oh, I give you five stars, William, on your steakhouse. The 201 magazine. Yeah. Or the BC magazine, the right. glossy. Mm -hmm. My buddy's diner always gets diner, best diner in Burton County. I told Spiro, <laughs> you know you're not the best diner, Spiro, you're not even close. My other buddy Jerry owned a, in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, owned a bunch of uh, pizza restaurants or plate parlors, whatever. And I said, he goes, that's bullshit, Billy. The publisher came in to that region and I said, how can I get ranked the best? She said, you give me a year's free pizza all I want, you got the number one ranking. Oh, Jesus. You know, so I just answered your question briefly. Yeah. Bam. It's paid off. It's you, you know what the, uh, the most, you know what the, the best hot spot for the locals in Lancaster County is? Called Cactus Willie's. Eight ninety nine. You get shell steaks freshly made to your order with, with all the trimmings. Oh, I know, you mentioned that before, yeah, but yeah. what's that going to do with rankings? No, I'm just I'm just saying it was such a fantastic bargain, which means... Yeah, but you said it was good too, so maybe they deserve their ranking No, too. they deserve it. Now, what I'm trying you know, to say so is, that good, when you later. travel, always talk to the locals about where to go. I said, but when, when I, my buddy owns the diner, I said, come on, Spiro, you, you know you're not the best diner. Let me tell you something. I wish Denny's opens up a, a ton of uh, locations around here because you know how what a rip off these Greek owned diners are? No, but uh, Denny's was never that great unless they've changed the whole process. When I've been to them decades ago, it wasn't, wasn't very impressive. So I don't know what they're like today. Well, the IHOP did blow them away, to well, be honest you know, with you. Well, you know how that's it. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, they to better try to keep up with the competition. To be fair, you yeah. know. In today's marketplace, is Denny's, the chain Denny's, even close to being of the caliber of IHOP? So what I just said to you is not yet, so there you go. Those Denny's have a lot of catching up to do.
Yeah, you do think is what I asked for. Oh, Golden Corral. Ask about the gold. Are they really as good as the commercials portray? You know about the Golden Corral commercials for that uh, buffet franchise, don't you? Are they as good as they look and claim on their TV commercials? I met a few friends that went to them. Nobody said anything bad. They said they're great. They said they're great. That's so, uh, hey, you got, and, and these are three people that don't know one another, so it's like totally, uh, you so, know. So you say you get to the questions, bam. I just said, as you well know, don't you? And I said, yes. Have your conversation. All right. Here's, here, here's an interesting one. Amulet. The, the, your, um, the way, your image of the blue eye, is that an ancient symbol for warding off evil? Okay, good. I don't know why you can't hold it still. You're always swinging with it. Well, I get, um, uh, 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 I get, I don't know, I'm not, I'm, I have a noise. It's a symbol of the eye. Is it a symbol of good? See? That's to be, it's, it's something about the blue eye, because they're all blue. It's a symbol of good, there you go. Yeah. You gotta keep it, keep it still when you ask this question. You've always got to swing it, so I keep it still, keep it still. Plus, it's got good weight to it. You know? Yeah, it's, um, you know. The Order finally, I'll be here tomorrow to give you a birthday. <laughs> yeah, all, uh, with those yellow teeth? Oh, God. Give you tongue. Yeah, and then oh, how 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 venomous that! You, you remember Medusa from the Greek mythology? It will be like kissing Medusa, the Gorgon, or Gorgon, as some people say. We were talking football this morning. It was so good to talk football. Oh man! Yeah. Now these uh, the 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 people that generally come in to chat with you in the morning. Do they ever come in in the afternoon, or are they just strictly the morning crowd? The morning crowd. You you get like uh, tourism coming here in the morning from the Holiday Inn. Okay. A lot, a lot. Yeah. Well, they're smart. You know, the Europeans love this place. Yeah. But a lot of them walk right by and go to Dunkin' Donuts too. Yeah. No, no. I mean, I mean the fact that they have a shuttle to the to the uh, 163 bus to the city. Instead of spending high prices on Manhattan hotels, they stay here and uh, they get a shuttle. Well, I hear this hotel is incredibly highly rated. Oh my God. Yeah. The ratings are sky high. Yeah. Well, you, you told me even the restaurant got a good rating. Well, Gabriel's. Phenomenal. The guys over here, I met some people last night. I recommended them. They went. I said, how was it? They said, oh my God. They have a bona fide chef in there running They said, the menu is incredible and you cannot go wrong with the food. Four to seven or five to seven. The fried calamari, they said you kill for. And it's only five or six dollars. They said it is tremendous. They said this is not any ordinary yeah. restaurant here. Well, I one time I asked an, an Italian chef I knew. They used to come for seafood when I worked there. Chef Franco. I said, Chef Franco, is there any secret to uh, deep frying seafood? He says, yes, yes. Any shellfish, scallops, oysters, calamari, one minute. And you do, you do not walk away from that deep fryer. You want, and the oil has to be clean and very hot. He says if the oil is not very hot, it'll be greasy. Because the, the batter will absorb. As you know, I'm staying at the Holiday Inn over here to have the pipes. Mm -hmm. There's a great restaurant, supposedly, in there called Gabriel's. Is it an excellent, excellent restaurant? Everybody goes nuts. The guy said, Billy, you don't. Want this is phenomenal. I met another guy. He said, he, he said my God, it's good. Yeah. The menu is big. 
because everything's phenomenal. Just think of how smart. We'll go to the, the just think of how smart the person was who first built this McDonald's here, knowing that there's a Holiday Inn next door. I don't think he knew if there was a Holiday Inn. I think this was here, and that was a different inn. Name. Oh, okay. It's, it's just called luck. It's luck on the draw. You put it in, things work out. That's things work right. out. You're gonna go outside for smoke. Yeah. All right. You know, franchises are like. Um, no, they're not franchises. Oh, oh no, no, he he downright owns all. He of them. owns them. He doesn't oh, franchise right. out. No, no, no. Oh, so when he visits, he inspects. They're his rest. He owns them. Yeah. Let's and, find out. And they have to meet his standards. Well, they're his. Does him or all the guys he own all of his restaurants? There you go. See how simple it is and quick? Mm. He doesn't franchise or sell any of them out there. Look how it jumps into your answer. See? He's Portuguese. He's from Fall, Fall River, Massachusetts. You know, can I ask you something? Yes. Who cares? I find it interesting to no, you don't. research things. You don't care at all whether he's Portuguese or not. Well, you it's don't. knowledge. No, it's not. Knowledge of what? He's Portuguese? Oh, I learned a lot. Because there's a lot of Portuguese immigrants in New England. That's how they got their seafood. So what? That's how they became famous for seafood. Is Emerald Lagasse Portuguese? Yes, he is. <laughs> he's Portuguese. Does he just claim to be to fool everybody? <laughs> that would be funny. He's not Portuguese, Jimmy. What is he, a Jew? <laughs> Lagasse, to me, is Italian. Is Admiral Lagasse Italian, of Italian descent? <laughs> Yes. Hmm, interesting. Like I know where Rachel Ray's from. Well, she's a pain in the ass. I heard she's a bitch in real life. Oh, I told you that. She's from Fall River. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, Glen Falls, New York, is I right. I told you a few people I met. I've been to Glen waiters Falls. Waiters or waitresses and had to wait on her. And she was such a bitch. And she said, Do you know who I am? <laughs> and I said, I forget who told me. I said, You played a role. You should have said, oh, honey, excuse me, don't my manager. Call the manager and said, this poor lady doesn't know who she is. Can you help me out? Turn the tables on. She doesn't know who she is. Because when you say, do you know who I am? Meaning you don't. You know who said that to the cops? Re Reese Witherspoon, the uh, that actress? No, that, nah, not just her. A lot of them. How many have used that? So don't you know? Don't you know who I am? Her you know boyfriend. Who? Her boyfriend was drunk and, and starting a fight when they were out, and that's what she said to the cop. Well, I told you about the lady over here the other day. Very, very heavy. Talking to a guy, a friend of hers, I guess, who was smoking. She goes, she quit smoking. I said, if he was smart right now, I was there, I was up for him. If he was smart, he should say, you should quit eating. <laughs> you know what? That would be perfect. You know? Come back. People don't know how to do it. They got to they go. Oh, go quick. quick. Said, if your name is Reese Witherspoon, does that mean you spoon, you spoon a lot with your boyfriend? Yeah, do you know who I That means you're better than well, other people. Do you know who I am? No, they think they're better. Yeah. Is my stuff, is my stuff in my apartment completely and totally safe? Because of this high pressure, better. Well, if you had candles, they'd be melted by now. They say that every dog has its day. Am I going to be barking real loud soon? Oh, it swings fast. It oh. just jumps right in. Oh, yeah. Legally, I think you have the jump, the edge on, on this situation. I'm not talking about the amulet. It just yeah. springs yeah. right into now, the answer. Is restitution the same as reciprocity? Recipro I'm not sure. Restitution. Will William Morrow get restitution for all this? Do I have a good legal case to go after the, the owners or landlords of my apartment complex? That scumbag, a John, John Gabriel, right? Once I get back in, should I continue and have my people pursue, pursue further legal action?
That's how quick it jumps in, right? Yeah, because you're discriminated against. No, but I mean, how quick it jumps in with yeah. the answer? Big swing, big yeah. swing. No, but what I'm saying, oh wow, look at look at it now. I'm telling you. But there's no, because there's no, there's no uh, justification for what happens here. Why know that? I'm just verifying. No, I just but want you to feel better. Jumps, I know, but it just you're assholes. Especially like if if you even if, why did you do that? You picked it up and moved it. Oh, because I don't. I mean, why did you do that? I was like, what is he doing? Uh, you wanted to have a, a little bed. It's okay. resting on a little bed. Here. Okay. okay. Comfortable, you know. It's so like when you have a question, pick it up and put it back. Make it comfortable. Yeah. Right on, brother. Like J.J. Walker used to say. You good deserve times. very much to be treated with the utmost of respect, don't you? And I totally agree with you. Um, you go, Jimmy. Yeah, well, relax. I am relaxed. No, I mean, I'm, I'm telling the amulet to. No, don't tell it. No, he knows what to do. Don't <laughs> you do anything. Donnie, don't make fun like an don't, OB. Don't boy. read too much into it. Yeah, but when you make comments, you gotta watch out. Don't do anything like that. Treat it with respect. <laughs> Man, there's nothing like pay- Jimmy Madonna going to marry. There's uh, nothing like payback as a bitch. Restitution. I, I love that. Believe, I don't believe in forgiveness. A lot of my other friends know that. Yeah. They mention they tease me about forgiveness because they know Listen, I don't believe in it. Even if you didn't have a health issue, there's still no justification right. for that. I don't believe happens. in forgiveness. I believe strongly in vengeance. Eye for I, an I eye? No. Two for two? No, two or uh, two eyes for one eye. I want to get back at you worse than what you did to me. Tenfold. I want to make you hurt. I want you to suffer. Yeah. And, 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 and with, okay, with well, the real estate company, there's no better way as you know, than to hurt them. I don't believe in forgiveness. In the wallet, kid. Excuse me. In the wallet. Damn it. Hello, since you just called me. A pain in the ass collection agency. There you go. Oh. Here's a good one. Oh, let's see. Let's hear this one now. All the um, so-called uh, police charities that call my house looking no, for no, money. No, no, they're, they're, they're scams. Is that a scam? Are most of the police charities that call people at home? Is the vast majority of them scams? Yeah, I knew the answer before you finished. Because the police officers are very well paid in this, in general. I Generally right speaking, away. Yes. I knew right away before you, even before you finished your question. Except for oh. except for Mexican police, they don't so, they don't get paid that much. But they're, they're criminal anyway. Oh yeah. What what was the old? What, what did you tell me about Juarez? If you if you yeah. look if you're looking for anything, anything bad, go to a cop. <laughs> go to a cop. If you look, that was even on sixty minutes later on. Whether it be drugs, prostitution, stolen or cars, anything you want. I used to, when I was a kid, I used to remember seeing these movies that took place in the deep south and, and kids are driving through a county, let's say in the deep south, and the cop goes, eh, uh, you know, this I could arrest you, but if you grease my palm or whatever. That happened. You know. That happened to my buddy. You know, you got them Roscoe P. Coltrane's. Stand around, you don't even know where the goddamn line is. And Ducksworth? Oh, that's a good name. I don't know, it's Duckworth, not oh, Duck. Duckworth. No, you don't know where the line is. I saw the funniest banner. I had a picture of a real stupid looking obese guy with a gorgeous blonde with her arm around him. He says he just won $180 million in the lottery, and two days later he found the love of his life. Isn't that great? I, I was hysterical. I, and he had a stupid look on his face. He was like a funny looking obese guy with a, with a perfect 10 with her arm around him because he just won the lottery. True story or was it cool? No, no, I, I don't know. That's the point. But what, what people were saying is... Well, suffer. If you're a fool, fall for that. 
What, what people? You think she really loves you? Then you're yeah. you're a moron. Then you then That's you simple. deserve it. It's that simple. Now what what the stupid thing that most people were saying was they were ready to piss the money away. I go, no, you don't piss the money away, you numbskulls. You lock it up and, and live off the interest. Well, you know how much well, interest 180 mil gets? You know, but it, either invest the two, build, build apartment complexes, or invest it wisely too. Right. Oh, you real estate. Number of things with it. Number of things. It doesn't have to be just interest. But you do smart. My dad always told me, money can work harder for you than you can for it. Right. Like if you buy townhouses or condos that re in resort areas of the country, you can uh, rent them out. Uh, then again, maybe get a vision, vision to know what will become the next resort. Remember, nobody knew. They couldn't give the Meadowlands away. Now it's over yeah. millions of dollars an acre. You, you've heard of Clearwater by Tampa? Clearwater, Florida, sure. Well, Clearwater here is a lovely area, and a lot of people go to Orlando. Straight, They go straight east to Orlando. Yeah, so you, you, you have to have some vision a little bit. Marco, there's a place called Marco I know, Island. I told you that lady I met, she loved it. She loved it. My, my aunt and uncle used to live in Marco Island. It's by Naples, which is by Fort Myers. Well, that's the airport. She loved it. Suburb of Fort Myers. She said it's great. They that's call, why I got married there. That's why she went there. That's called Collier County, Florida. That's that's supposed to be one of the best real estate bargains, real estate investment places in, in the country. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, look, even some of the prices in L.A., which are ridiculous. So. Oh, I heard they pay really premium rent in, in, in uh, Southern California. You pay for the California. side of a cliff. Oh yeah, as your house comes tumbling down from a mudslide. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, not only that, um, everything is brown. It's basically a desert. Mm -hmm. well, of course, it's all burned. Where are you going to go? Yeah. What, like, like what's happening now? That's what I mean. It's burning all the time. It's mudslides and floods. What are you going to do? It's, it's, well, yeah, it's that, good, that, thanks to the climate change deniers. And that's that. Have a good one, people. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.